Alrighty, so before this video actually begins, uh, I just want to say that there is going to be a hidden steam key somewhere in this video and you guys have to find it. It is only a one-use thing, so one person will win. Uh, good luck. The weather seems to have changed quite a bit recently. Uh, there's a lot more wind, there's a lot more waves, there is some snow, and uh, there's still no fog. However, there is actually two AI boats over there, and that's actually really cool. There's two AI boats. Going from no AI boats in the game to like loads of AI boats is, is crazy. Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces- Oh, what just happened? Ah, okay, welcome you faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we've got something very, very interesting to show you guys, and that is this thing right here. It was literally uploaded to the workshop like 10 minutes ago, and it doesn't have a description yet, so I don't really know how to use this thing. But anyway, this thing right here is called a crude oil tanker Helen RW, as it says on the side, and it was built by a hobo named Walt. So a hobo named Walt built this oil tank. Uh, if you're wondering what we're going to be doing with it, we're going to take it to an oil rig and we're going to start filling it up and hopefully we can actually fill it up to the top or at least enough to take it to the refinery where we can sell the crude oil. So let's go ahead and get inside, get this thing moving and um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so now we're actually in the bridge. Essentially, you just run backwards, you run up the stairs, and you're in the bridge, because the bridge is above you. Um, yeah, of course. Anyway, uh, I figured you'd have to go downstairs to start the engines, but on this thing, you can actually start them from up here, which is perfect. Uh, water pumps are gonna go on, fuel intake pumps are gonna go on, and we're just gonna start the engines. Which always sounds really loud, but they are actually running, which is perfect. Let's go ahead and bow thrust left. Is that gonna work? If that works, that's going to be really cool. I like the idea of that. I love the idea of that. Is it going to work, though? <gasps> it's totally working. Look at that. We're getting pushed. We're getting pushed sideways. That's awesome. That's actually really, really cool. It's going to get us away from the dock a little bit, and then we're going to start going forwards, and we need to find the oil rig, because I don't know where it is. Okay, so we are going to be traveling for a hell of a long time, because if you have a little look at my map, the actual refuel zones... <laughs> The actual refuel zones are miles away. Uh, the oil rig, the closest oil rig that I can see, appears to be all the way over here. So, we're there. We need to go all the way over to there? That's, like, that's insane. That is insane. Uh, so what I'm thinking we do instead is... Oh, there's one up there too. That's so far away. Um, I'm thinking we actually drive to the refinery, which is here. And then we drive from the refinery, and we actually sell it here. Um, which makes more sense to me, so that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, we've gone ahead and turned ourselves around. Let's go ahead and turn off the bow thrusters. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn this throttle lever up, and we should start moving forwards. Turn the bridge lights on, the instrument lights, mid-deck work lights, deck work lights, uh, four-mast deck lights, and, uh, four-mast spotlights as well. We'll just turn all the lights on, and we'll get going. Now, this thing could be really slow, uh, which would suck, because we're going quite far away. But, um, I think we're gonna be okay. You know what? I do think we've got a bit of a problem. <laughs> I think we've got a massive problem. I don't think we fit under bridges. Um, and if we don't fit under bridges, essentially what we've got to do is we've got to go all the way around the bottom of this island. We've got to go all the way around, and then we've got to go back up again in order to actually get to the refinery, which is there. This is going to be insane. Okay, well, since that's probably going to be the case, let's go ahead and start working on these other things. We've got ourselves a master autopilot. Let's go ahead and actually set this. There we go, put that in, and wham! Whack it on. So that's going to take us down to there, which is 11 kilometers away. We're going to go south of the main island. We're then going to go around the island to like here, and then we're going to make our way up to the actual oil rig. We're actually going to go to an oil rig. Awesome. This video is going to take me 10 years to make, but that's okay.
Okay, so I just wanted to say uh, thank you guys very much for actually watching these videos. If you guys have made it to this point in the video, thank you guys uh, for actually watching. I do appreciate you guys being here. Uh, if you guys have any ideas on what we can add or do next, uh, let me know in the comments down below because I really appreciate your ideas. And I really want to just make content that makes you guys happy. Uh, as well as me, you know, I enjoy making videos like this and um, hopefully you guys enjoy watching them. So yeah, um, also, I hope everybody had a happy Christmas, and um, I hope everybody has a happy new year as well. Um, that's not something I generally put in my videos, but I do actually really appreciate you guys, and I hope everybody is doing okay. So, thank you guys for being here. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So, uh, I did notice something on our way over here. Uh, the way you actually get on this ship from, like, I don't know, pilot boats or boats like that, is these little side ladders, uh, stair things. Uh, we can actually push this video and... Video? We can push this button and it actually folds them up and in, which is pretty awesome. We got it on this side and we've also got it on the other side too, which is pretty epic to be honest. So let's go back over this side. We'll go ahead and lift it up on this side as well. And um, there you go. Look how cool that is. That's awesome. Okay, so it actually looks like uh, the weather has got a little bit worse. It is actually starting to get dark as well. Um, but yeah, there, it is actually windy now, so... I don't know, this ship seems to be dealing with this completely fine. Let's have a little look at our weather station, because it has one back here. Boop! There we go, we can actually see that it is 5.30 on a night. It is 21 degrees. Our wind is actually at 169 degrees at 27 knots. Our visibility is Forsma. <laughs> Forsma uh, plus Heta. I don't know, uh, H2. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the visibility thing is. And precipitation is RA. No idea what that means. But anyway, let's go ahead and turn this off. It's not really necessary for us to look at that right now. Um, but we are actually going around the big island. And it isn't really taking too long. I'm going to change course now. We're going to start heading this direction. Because I think we'll miss the main island. So we're just going to go ahead and whack in the coordinates into there. And we should start turning. And it'll be awesome. I do actually kind of want to mention as well that this thing hasn't been laggy, like, at all. It was a little bit laggy when we were in port. But other than that, it's actually been completely fine. Let's go ahead and take these stairs down, down to the bottom. And uh, we'll go ahead and check out the rooms that are inside this. Because it is actually furnished, too. So let's go ahead and go inside this door. Ground deck. Here we go. And we'll have a quick little look around. So, we got some guest rooms. They're actually fully furnished. We got a bed. We got a cupboard. We've got a bookshelf, we've got a rug, and we've got a seat and a table. Like, these things are actually furnished, which is crazy. Let's go ahead and close that up. This one goes to the engine room. We're not going to go down there just yet. Uh, what does this one do? This one's captain quarters. Uh, we've got that on the... S what is that? If anyone knows what that is, let me know in the comments down below. We've got, like, a radio boombox kind of thing. That's awesome. And uh, this guy's got a flask, too. Oh, and some luggage. Look at that. He's got, like... Suitcases. They look great, actually. They look really good. Anyway, close that up as well. This presumably goes to the engine room as well. Yes, it does. Let's have a little look in the galley. So this is where we'll be eating and cooking our food. Awesome. We got a big old stove and ovens. There we go. And a fridge, too. Yeah. Uh, if we turn the lights on in here, that's good. And this right here is our common room. So this is where we chill out on a night time. Or chill out when we're on our breaks. It's got a massive TV. Awesome. All right, so it's not actually that big inside of here. We've got our guest rooms. We've got our captain's quarters. We've got our common room. But we don't really have that much else. We've got ourselves a washroom right here. If you want to wash yourselves, or go to the PP. Go to the PP. Go to the potty. That's right there as well. And um, that's pretty much it for this level. So let's go down to the engine room. Okay, so this actually appears to be quite deep. Um, and then we get to our engines. Okay, very good. Uh, is there lights? Presumably this is lights. There we go. Uh, so we got two massive engines. Both of them are Yanmar. Interesting. Let's have a little look down here at our big old engines. Um, yeah, I mean, these are designed really, really nicely, which is awesome. Let's go to the front and see what's in here. Spare parts. Oh, wow, we got like a spare parts cupboard. Got ourselves message boards everywhere. We got fire extinguishers everywhere. We got generators on board. And we've also got, oh, wow, it's like a, like a shaft. Uh, to the propeller, which is awesome. That's really, really cool. Let's go upstairs and have a little look inside here as well. And inside of here is like our engine monitoring room. So we've got a bunch of uh, dials and things. We've got some monitors that don't appear to be working. And we've got loads of fuel. we got loads and loads of fuel, like 200,000 fuel. That's insane. Uh, this is also like an equipment room too. So 
That's pretty awesome. Oh, we do have fire suppression on the walls. Uh, just in case we need it. Fire suppression automatically deploy once temperature is... Or exceeds 120 degrees. Um, so there you go. Alright, cool. We can do it manually if we want to as well. Awesome. Right, so I do believe that is all we need to show you guys at the back of the ship. Oh, there is actually lights here on the way down. Awesome. Um, so let's actually go outside and go to the front and we'll see if there's anything there. Also, it is nighttime and this looks amazing. The ship hasn't turned. Let's go upstairs and figure that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the bridge. Here it is right here. Let's go ahead and close that up. Uh, this says it's working, but like I don't think it is. It's like it's definitely not turning us. So let's let's do this one as well, uh, and then and then plot that. There we go. Oh look, that's going the wrong way. That's going a different way to this one. Is it? What's happening? GPS coordinates are in. It should turn, right? It's not turning. I'm confused. All right, so I'm actually going to control the ship instead. We're just going to turn it towards our waypoint. And we're going to do it manually because we're just going to go in straight lines anyway. As soon as we reach that waypoint, we'll start going uh, across and it'll be fine, I'm sure. The weather, it seems fine. It's just a little bit wavy. But the ship is dealing with it very nicely. Okay, so this is going to be a really long video, apparently. Um, we are still on our way down. We are... Actually, you know what? We've got far enough. We can probably start going across now. Let's go ahead and set this as our waypoint, and we'll start aiming for that instead. And uh, everything should be good. What is this? Extend, retract, starboard, gangway. A gangway is these things on the side. I believe they are. Let's go ahead and see if that is the case. What's a gangway? I don't know what a gangway is. Let me Google it. Okay, yeah, I did Google it, and it is actually those things on the side. The, those buttons don't appear to work, though, so uh, I don't really know what's going on there, but that's fine. That is actually completely fine. We're just going to keep going forwards, uh, and eventually we'll get to the right place, hopefully. Oh, okay, I kind of understand it now. It was going to the wrong place. It was actually going to the wrong place. It was going for the wrong waypoint, and um, now it's going to go to the right waypoint. That's lucky. So down here it says how many waypoints there is. I don't really understand this screen. U, D, Chevron, Chevron, R, C. C is for clear, I believe. Uh, and it does appear to be turning back towards our waypoint. So I think we've got it. And I think we've got it right, which is lucky. Uh, on this one, we've actually done one waypoint. So if we clear it, we can put the waypoint in. There we go. And we can go ahead and turn it on. And it should go to the right place, which is perfect. Okay, so, uh, the game is giving me very weird signals. Um, the- the snow has actually disappeared. I figured I'd give you guys updates on our little journey here. Um, there is actually no wind right now. There's no wind. There's also no snow, and there appears to be no fog either. So, we've actually got a really bright night. And, um, yeah, we're- we're still going. I don't know what time it is. Let's have a little look in game. See what kind of time we're on. Let's have a little look. Do, 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 do. Our time is 22.23, so it's 10 o'clock at night, and um, it seems alright. Seems okay. Okay, so um, it turns out that I haven't actually looked at everything on this ship. There is obviously a crane right there that we should actually probably participate, like use it a little bit. Uh, we will use that when we get to the oil rig, though, I believe. I think. I don't know. Anyway, I spotted a light off in the distance, and there is an AI ship over there. That is actually pretty cool, isn't it? It is actually pretty awesome being able to see things like that. Uh, he's just sailing around, and um, we're sailing around too. Awesome. Okay, so the thing that I didn't actually show you guys as well is if we come downstairs from the bridge, we've actually got all of this thermal clothing right here. Uh, there's a heater there. I don't know how we turn the heaters on. Uh, and we've got loads of accommodation too. We've got stereos. Uh, with the wardrobes, the beds, and the seats, with the uh, luggage as well. Uh, they've all got their own little lights as well, so if we turn the lights on in every room, we can. Uh, and they're slightly different too. Didn't even realize. That's pretty awesome. Uh, this one's different to both of those, and this one is slightly different to them as well, which is cool. And then we've got more on this side. There we go. So this is where everybody actually sleeps. 
Um, and this is where everybody bathes. There we go. We get ourselves a little uh, washroom, which is awesome. Um, and then we've got our laundry and stuff like that in there. And I think that might be everything. Oh, no, there's more. There's accommodation downstairs. There we go. There's more. There's more. There's even more accommodation in there. Uh, even more accommodation in there. Is there another washroom? So each level has their own little washroom. And there's another accommodation. Awesome. More laundry as well. Oh, we can actually go backwards too. There's an electrical room. So we got lighting systems. We've got bridge power. We've got heating systems. Radar systems. All of the power there. We got ourselves a placeholder computer. And that's pretty awesome. We've also got lights for this level there as well. Uh, we got a storage room on this side. That's pretty epic. And um, I think that's it for this level. We can actually go down again. And this is the level we've already been on. So you guys have seen pretty much all of the ship now. Which is awesome. There is one more thing that I do want to go check out. And that is at the front of the ship. Okay, so here we are at the front of the ship. This is what... Oh, placeholder. Okay, so this is kind of what I wanted to show you guys. And um, it's, it's because... There's nothing actually there. Uh, there should be rooms below it, but there just isn't right now. Uh, right here, we've got anchor controls if we need them. Don't think we need them right now, uh, so we're good. We're just going to make our way back to the bridge. And, um, yeah, we're just going to sit inside the bridge until we get to the right place, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I should have mentioned earlier as well, actually. I did turn on the lights for this boat. They're actually on this little monitor in the middle. Uh, we got nav lights and we got everything else. I don't really know what the rest of them actually mean. I didn't turn the anchor ones on because we're not anchored. But um, I don't know what an NUC is, I don't know what the tow one is, and I don't know what the RAM one is. RAM or RAW? I have no idea. But um, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. Oh wow, look at that! The uh, the AI boat is actually... I think he might be stopped, or at least he's going very, very... No, he's going very, very slowly. We are so much faster than him. Also, the, the, the actual like weather and stuff has been very, very nice to us. Um, I can show you guys what's actually happening. So I've got the other override off for both the, the time and the weather. Uh, the wind is slowly picking back up. It did go to like zero earlier. And the fog went to zero-ish too. But the snow was at like, it was really high earlier. Now it's just zero. So maybe by the time we actually get to the oil rig, it'll change. But um, I don't know. We'll see. Also, he's just very slow. Okay, so we've actually been traveling for a long, 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 long time now. And um, it's actually daytime, or it's getting to daytime. There's the uh, the sun right there. The AI ship is all the way back there now, so um, you guys know it's the same save. And there's my lighthouse. It's the frantic lighthouse right there, which is pretty epic. We're, we're sailing past my lighthouse for once. Um, the wind actually seems to be picking up a little bit, um, but that is it. Uh, there might be a little bit of fog too, but that's not too much. Anyway, we're going to go inside and um, we're going to see what time it is. Let's have a little lucky here. It is 7 o'clock in the morning. So, um, yeah, rise and shine, boy. Finally, 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 we've made it like round the island. So now we can literally just go ahead and plot this as our destination. Uh, go ahead and put it into the autopilot system and we can start going that direction, which would be amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and clear that real quick if we can reach. Yeah, we can. Go ahead and set this as our destination. Clear it. Oh, no. I think it's going. I think it is actually turning us by itself. Which is amazing. Alright, cool. Uh, I have just realized something as well. We could have went underneath the bridges if we had just looked at this. Uh, this is our draft. So this is how deep we are in the water. And essentially we could have just lowered ourselves, filled our ballast tanks... To drop us down in the water, gone underneath the bridges, and then released it again, so we went up again. But we didn't do that, uh, because I didn't realize this ship had that capability. But, it does! So if you guys use this thing, use that! It's a good idea. Alright, look over there! Look at that! There's actually a tugboat over there that, um, is pretty cool. That's another AI vessel that we are traveling past. I don't see any more, but, I mean, it's pretty cool to be traveling past AI vehicles. Uh, there's also a crate over there as well, so we could have made some money, but never mind. Awesome. The weather seems to have changed quite a bit recently. Uh, there's a lot more wind, there's a lot more waves, there is some snow, and uh, there's still no fog. However, there is actually two AI boats over there, and that's actually really cool. There's two AI boats going from no AI boats in the game to like loads of AI boats. is It's crazy. Um, I can actually start to see the oil rig right now. There it is. Um, and I don't see anything else around us. But, um, oh, no, I thought I seen something over there. There's nothing over there, but um, this is pretty cool. This is actually really, really cool. Uh, if you guys didn't notice already, this thing has a lifeboat on the back too, which hopefully we don't need. 
But um, it's there. Yeah. Oh, and we can actually get on top of the bridge too. There's a staircase all the way up to the tippity top, and I reckon we could probably climb at least a little bit up there, but we can't get to the top. But that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, so I've been doing this video for about two, probably about two hours now we've been making this video. Um, and we've been sailing for a long time. It is now nighttime in game again, so yes. We ended up going from daytime through nighttime to daytime, back to nighttime. So we've been sailing for a long, long time. But we are actually at the oil rig now, so we should be able to move up by the side of it and uh, start emptying filling, start filling our tanks. Now, I don't know whether we need our crane to do that. I don't know how this works, so this is going to be interesting. The throttle lever, I don't know how that works either. Um, throttle is on W and S. However, it doesn't actually appear to be doing anything when I press W or S. So, yeah, we're going to have to use the throttle lever there. Can I turn off that light that's poking me in the eyes? Like, it's poking me in the eyes. Can we turn it off? There we go. All right, cool. We can turn it off. Awesome. That's lucky. I've turned off the autopilot as well, so we are slowly going to go ahead and mirror up alongside this oil rig and uh, start filling ourselves up, which is going to be amazing. We might even put the, um, I think we might actually even put the, the anchors down. That would be cool. Um, do, do, do. Bow thrusters, no. Intakes, no. What do those do? I don't know what either of those do. Right, slow down. To like a stop. There we go, to like four. Four, 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 four. I don't think we were moving on four last time, so we'll just do that. There we go, all right, awesome. Yeah, mirror's up right here, this is fine. This is actually perfect, because the way we fill this up is actually at the front, not the back. So we should be good. All right, I'm just gonna jump off here. <laughs> because that's normal. And uh, we're gonna run to the front. I don't know whether I use this crane. I don't think we do, but we need to fill up here, so I I I don't really know how this this works. What's this? Water pump? Oh, we can actually put out fires. Interesting. Um, so yeah, we're gonna jump on board the boat. We're actually gonna move forwards oh, on on the oil rig. We're gonna move forwards a tiny bit, and then we'll and then we'll start loading up cargo. It's gonna be great. Okay, so let's go ahead and go forwards like very slowly, very slowly. We're gonna bow thrust left also. Okay, very nice. Very nice indeedy. There we go. Get us very close. And then stop. Okay, that's very nice. And then we want to go forwards. We're going to get up alongside it completely. And that's great. Leave it right there. Awesome. Speed should drop down to like zero pretty much. There we go. We're going to go put the anchors down. And then we can start filling up. This is amazing. Okay, so I don't actually really know how this works. I'm just going to grab this hose from here, I, I think, and then we're just going to, um, what's this? Attach? So that's in and this is out. Okay, that's our flow rate and that's our tank hold. All right, okay, so I think if we jump over there, let's just, let's just jump on this little life ring and then jump over. We should be able to run upstairs, attach onto this thing, which still has the old connector, actually. Oh, the hose is here too. Interesting. Right, we're just gonna jump. We're just gonna jump, jump, jump a bit. Eh. I can't, I can't really even, I can't jump over the side. Can I jump on this and then jump over the side? Probably, maybe. Okay, that didn't really work. Did not really work at all. Let's try that again. All right, running jump time. Here we go. Okay, didn't work. Eh. 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 Oh, I hate these hoses. I hate these hoses. They're annoying. And I'm sad. <gasps> we made it. We made it. All right, cool. Connect it. Press this button. It's working. Hey, it's working. 
Alright, cool, so now we just sit here for the next uh, 10 years and uh, fill up the tanks. I don't even know how much it can hold. Oh, uh, well, I just I just checked how much it can hold. Um, it can hold, uh, 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 um, a lot. It can hold a lot. I think it's 1.4 million and we're up to 3,000. So, I'm going to be AFK for a little bit. I'm going to go watch a video or something and I'll be back with you guys whenever that video finishes. Oh, actually, while that's happening, even though this ship seems to be very good at keeping itself in the same place, we're gonna drop one of the anchors, uh, just to make sure we don't really drift off while I'm not really paying attention. So, we're gonna anchor down, cable length is fine, anchor mag, unlock anchor. Okay, so it should start dropping. Let's have a little looky here, there's the anchor right there. The anchor is gonna start dropping, it is, ooh, it's quite deep here. I don't know how big the l cable is. I'm assuming it's going to be quite big, but I don't, I don't know. No, it's only going to be tiny. That anchor is, is not going to be very big. Not at all. Like, actually not at all. Bring it back up a little bit. I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to jump down there into the water. And we're just going to attach it to the... We're going to attach it, if I can grab it, to this. There we go. There we go. Alright, cool. We've attached it to the oil rig, so we shouldn't really move anywhere. Perfect. Okay, something really, really weird is happening. I'm just gonna let out that anchor quite a bit now. Um, we're actually, like, getting pulled towards it and then bouncing off of it. It's really strange. We're getting, like, pulled inwards, and then once we hit the actual oil rig, we're getting smacked out sideways. So I don't really know why that's happening. It seems to be happening since we actually, like, attached it to the oil rig. So, I've let it out a little bit more, and hopefully that stops happening. But, yeah. Weird. Alright, so I've been waiting for, like, quite a long time now. Uh, it's actually been, like, daytime, nighttime, daytime. It's 2 o'clock in the morning for me in real life. In fact, it's half past 2 now. Uh, and I've just been stood here looking at this. Uh, 440,000 liters. This thing can hold 1.4 million liters, so... Uh, we gotta wait a long time from now. So, what I'm thinking we're gonna do is, I'm gonna end this video here for now. I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you guys very much for actually watching this. If you guys wanna see me travel from here, the oil rig, to the refinery in the next video, then, um, let me know in the comments down below, and we'll do another video going from the oil rig to the refinery, selling all the stuff, and we'll see what happens from there. Hopefully it'll go well, I don't know, but um, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens in the next video. But for now, thank you guys very much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will be seeing you guys in the next one if you guys really want to watch. Thank you for watching, goodbye.